manifolds. Here is that dual plane that we just ran. And you can look in there and kind of see why people think that these things don't run well on nitrous or potentially don't. They have two separate levels inside them. Each half goes to four cylinders in the engine. These things tend to make more torque and less top end horsepower. Whereas what we're about to go to is the Victor single plane intake manifold. This is a nice, big, hairy manifold, especially when ported. I think on our 383, it's really not the manifold that I would choose for running down either the street or the drag strip, but it is gonna answer those questions about fuel distribution issues and whether nitrous makes more power on this style of manifold. So we're gonna go install this pooch right now. Pull this guy aside. The cool thing about the big block Mopar is that it doesn't have water in the intake manifold, so we're gonna be able to just pull off this one and slap a new one on there like nothing. Oh man, this manifold's hot. <laughs> <laughs> that is no good. How come I have so much manifold lead? Kaboom. Side of my box. Now we're gonna have to go fire this thing up and almost certainly it's gonna need to jet change because of the single plane versus dual plane intake. And we'll run it NA and then come back and spray it again. I have to make the observation here that the engine looks much more racy. Yeah, too bad it won't run that much more racy. I know, that is the downside. Now the single plane manifold's in place and all tuned up and we also bumped the ignition timing back to where it was when we ran the dual plane naturally aspirated. So what you're about to get is a clean A-B test of the dual plane manifold versus the single plane manifold. horsepower we've seen so far naturally yeah. aspirated at the cost of torque, which is completely predictable considering what we're doing. Surprise. <laughs> there you go. The red is the dual plane, black is the single plane. The, the dual plane makes more torque and you get a little bit more horsepower out of the single plane. Actually, Steve ran it higher too. Yeah, I think well, it wasn't done where we, uh, the dual plane was, so I went ahead and ran it 300 higher just so we could get to peak again. Our new power peaks with the single plane intake manifold are 473.1 horsepower and 454.2 pound-feet of torque. You can see really looking at the graph, it tells a better story than just the peaks though. You know, you're giving up a lot of power below 46, 700 RPM, but what we're really doing here is looking at distribution issues and nitrous. So let's have a look at what the cylinder to cylinder looked like with the single plane. It's better, but it's not fantastic. But will it make more power on nitrous? Ooh, how do you find that out? Let's go squirt this thing. <laughs> yeah. I'm tired of messing around with yeah. 470 horsepower. It's boring me. The last test, theoretically the good one. Single plane intake manifold, 150 shot. We pulled the timing back and whack it. The only thing I'm curious about here is does it make more power? And I think it might because the uh, airflow seems to continue at a higher RPM than the dual plane. Yeah. 